Hey guys, welcome back. BDCKR here, and we're back with our weekly recap of all things Injustice. This is for the week of September 5th, 2019. The current character challenge is Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. That's a one-week repeat, and the required characters for that are Sinestro, Black Adam, and Batman. So bronze, silver, and gold if you're looking at the lowest tier to get them each at, which is, you know, a nice progression. Not necessarily yeah. the easiest for brand new players, but Batman's a good gold if you have to pick one of them. That's right. I think Batman and Superman are probably the two easiest and, golds. And there's two golds in the regular gold, or sorry, two Batmans in the regular gold pack. Yeah. So. So there we go. Uh, her passive is this one's for Mr. J, and it reads as follows. When the enemy tags in, Harley may perform a surprise attack if she is tagged out. If the Joker's knocked out on Harley's team, she gains full power. Right. Okay. See, she's got middling stats. Uh, 1,100 damage, 1,100 health. I mean, it's funny. I say that now, but I think she's probably better than any of the original um, golds in the gold pack. Yeah. Like all the Harleys, she's a great support character, and she can heal her teammates. Mm -hmm. And even though she's not the strongest, I think Suicide Squad Harley Quinn is. She's fun because of her passive. That she's basically the Pokemon equivalent of an entry hazard. Yeah. Um, and she can do damage to an opponent who's tagging in, and that is very useful on a defensive team because it can sometimes discourage the or thwart the initial strategy of most teams to tag in somebody right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, the second part of her passive is interesting. So gaining full power when a joker is knocked out can be fun, especially if she's on a team with two jokers, because mm -hmm. um, then she can get full power twice. The, yeah. the problem is this kind of uh, ability became way less so powerful when the Tantu Totem came around. Although, to be fair, her special two did get a buff when the Tantu Totem came around. Uh, that's true. Um, so that she, like any of the Harley Quinns, that because a lot of the special two sort of effects yeah. are no damage. A lot of them are free. That's right. They're totally free. But even before Tantu Totem, it was hard to play in a way to maximize this part of her passive, right? Either you're, you know, you're going to let the Jokers die really quickly to give her the power so she can come in and, and do her specials or her super or you're leaving them longer because they're not particularly weak, they're doing a bunch of damage, so that by the time they get knocked out, though, Harley Quinn already's accumulated a bunch of power anyways from sitting and waiting on the sidelines, right? Mm -hmm. So then she becomes less useful as a player. Um, because the longer she, uh, Joker's out, the more power she's generated, the less she's going to get as far as additional power yeah. for, from the passive. And listen, here's the thing. If you give her Tantu Totem... Um, and she happens to do a surprise attack, she'll actually get the benefit of the tag in, tag out, and generate a bar power. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to... Which is great. Yeah, and if you're going to give her Tantu Totem anyway, so it, it, it becomes less important to use her on a Joker team to take a, advantage of the second part of her passive. Yeah, it's that's an unexpected benefit, though, because I don't think a lot of people do that on their tag and tag outs. I guess not, that's true. Um, oh, and I should also mention she's got extra hits on her combo under, I think at least two maybe three so she's a good character to take advantage of any gears that have a combo ender effect you yeah. know the, the standard Razzle Scimitar uh, Gauntlets of Azrael uh, Overpowered Super mm. all those gears are good so there we go this week's multiplayer award speaking of Iba Stick or did you say Iba Stick I did not no, say that. No, you didn't. I, I would try to do a transition. It backfired on me. I was so geared up for the Ivis stick. I was like, wait a second, that doesn't work. You were only hearing it in your head. That's true. <laughs> not and speaking it had my of voice. Stick. It, it had my voice, apparently. Speaking of gears, this week's multiplayer reward is the Ivis stick. Uh, the effects are 30% damage boost to special 1, 30% damage boost to special 2, 20% power generation increase, and the evolved effect is 10% damage, uh, damage over time added on special. All right. So this was the original game-changing legendary gear, and it was the original sort of multiplayer gear if, you, like us, we pretend that the Batmobile never happened. Yeah. Um, so the damage over time, the evolved ability, is, is, was the most interesting because it was brand new. It was a percentage of the opponent's health, not the attacker's damage. Yeah. So it's the great equalizer, and we've demonstrated that um, with our whole playlist of uh, characters taking out and abusing boss Arkham Origins Batman. Mm -hmm. So we've got the bronze characters, the Nightwing and Catwoman, both doing all the damage, 
but Nightwing's actually able to do it everything on his own. Yeah, because of the basic damage resist, basically. And also his ability to power drain a special one. Mm, yeah. So he... With Catwoman, we needed a, a meat shield, a tank, to absorb some of the special damage that yeah. Arkham Origins Batman was accumulating when we were beating up on him. It's unfortunate that because there are three people in the fights, it's not as valid for Survivor when you get people with way, way, way more right. health than you. That's right. Um, so it was one of the first gears to boost both Special 1 and 2, and the power gen is perfectly in line with everything as um, a specials, uh, specialist gear. Yeah, it's it's a very versatile special specialist gear. Right. I mean, it, again, boost to the damage isn't nearly as good as boost to, say, crit chance on Special 1 or Special 2. Yeah. But as far as gears go, this was the first gear that deserved to be legendary. Yeah, because the Batman gear was basically just... Batman exclusive gear yes. that happened to have an extra yeah. effect. Oh, I should also point out that some specials are able to trigger Iba Sticks damage over time effect more than once. Mm. So that you can get, and I'm not sure exactly how that works. It, it has to do with the way the specials um, do their like do their hits. But I know that, for example, say uh, Static, who uh, does a bunch of hits on his special his tasers, two. right? Uh, that's no, number one. Special two is the, is the board, right? Yeah, he's doing like whatever those the flips and bit, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, will do way more than ten percent. I I think it might even be enough to knock the opponent out. Wow, with just okay. the damage if you're willing to back off and wait. So, anyways, um, definitely great. And I'll link to the playlist for uh, abusing boss Arkham Orders Batman, showing uh, specifically Nightwing with Iva Stick soloing against. Batman. There we go. In the store, we have the Arkham Origins Joker Pack for 25 Canadian dollars. Uh, it's not worth it. It's only one copy, and they won't unlock in your store, but it probably is what next week's challenge is. Right, the same way last week we had a pack for Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. Yeah, so it's a good sneak preview, probably. Right. Uh, we also have the Red Sun Pack for 27 Canadian. You get a random three out of the following set. Red Sun Superman, Red Sun Wonder Woman, Red Sun Solomon Grundy, Red Sun Deathstroke, Green Lantern, or Batman. It used to cost, I think it was like 400,000 credits. I think you're right. And now it's for money, so that, that sucks. This is another one of the trend. It's been, you know, we've, yeah. we've known this for a while, right? It's yeah. been this way for months at this point. So but. maybe we need to be looking at the fact that really the way to get the, not, not just the regular gold, silver, bronze packs, right? Is that we should be looking at the nth metal ones as our way of getting... Um, for the free to play players getting some of the better characters. Yeah. Um and the challenge pack I get I shouldn't ignore that. But so here's the funny thing. That twenty seven bucks is almost a deal in the context of the usual price of credit. So what they're pricing it at is twenty seven bucks for what used to be four hundred thousand credits. Yeah. And if you look at the price for credits, twenty one dollars would only get you hundred and ninety two thousand credits, which would be less than half the cost yeah. of a red sun pack. And even at the what they call the best deal and the priciest one, hundred and four dollars and 54 cents for 1.5 million credits, mm -hmm. you'd still be paying more for the credits that you would need to buy a Red Sun Pack if uh, we were working with the equivalent cost. Yeah, so based off of their monetization strategy, this actually is a good deal. It's just based off of the amount of money that real humans should have to spend on mobile games. It's not. Right, right. In Survivor, we have the Lexcore gear set until the 18th of September, 2019. Yep, Phantom Zone is done. So the, lately, we've been getting it on, on the regular, so hopefully it'll be back in another two, three weeks. Fingers crossed. Yep. Uh, fight 50... Sorry, fight 50... Uh, I was going to say... Uh, I think I have Area 52 on my mind. Fight 62 is Area still 51, broken. you mean? 50... Yeah, I don't know. I'm totally messed up. Like, this is this is getting to be... It's been a long day. <laughs> we've both had some gaffes in this episode. <laughs> um, and Breakthrough so far... So we, we've been keeping track. I think last week was Nightwing. So, so far we've had Raven, Killer Croc, Martian Manhunter, Hawkgirl, Doomsday, Sinestro, and Nightwing. And since they updated Breakthrough, there's only been one week where they did not have one of the previously un-breakthroughed, break breakthroughable, I don't throughable know. characters. So hopefully um, we still got a few that haven't been available. So hopefully we'll have one of them coming up this mm -hmm. week. Moving on to the current glitches, just remember that every working glitch is explained in a video as part of the playlist that you can reach by clicking the I in the top right corner of this video. We are Android only, so we're only able to confirm these glitches for Android. And as always, at the top of the glitch discussion, 
spoiler alert, nothing has changed this week other than the Phantom Zone being gone and you not having to worry as much about the challenge reset. Right, right. So maybe we'll start with the significant not working glitches because if you want to see the working glitches, you'll just click on the playlist. Yeah. Um, and we always start with the one that people care about the most, which is that there is no current working glitch for credits that we are willing to endorse. And we talk about this in way more detail in a previous episode of our P and Q and C and A and T video, which is our weekly glorified Q&A video, uh, season six, episode nine, which we'll link in the description and in the eye in the top right corner. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that's worth repeating is that the one that people have been talking about and using requires you to be logged into this one account with two devices simultaneously. And we don't like those glitches. Yeah, too much risk Danger. for getting your account suspended. We accidentally got one of our accounts suspended that way. That's part of our big discussion. Yes. But that's that's why we don't yes. like it. Yeah, so we only endorse and recommend glitches that we test and confirm ourselves. Yeah. And so we don't do this anymore. Other glitches that are not working or there are no glitches for right now, uh, getting repeated past multiplayer season rewards, getting early multiplayer season rewards, and getting through the Phantom Zone quickly. There's no way to do any of those right now. I, I should also mention that people have been talking sometimes where they about how they get the season reward early at the beginning of the season, but they're not ranked. So it's still happening, but now there's just no control over it. You can't yeah, it's not exploitable. It right, right. It might create issues for you, but it's not a... Now it becomes a kind of glitch where it screws you up. Yeah, it's not a positive glitch. Yes. That's true. Uh, now we can get to the, some of the working glitches. The glitch to let you play Phantom Zone repeatedly is still working, or I guess technically was, because we're in an off-season, right. so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, the event's over. Uh, but, you know, as a corollary, the challenge reset glitch is still working. Right. Tested and confirmed on Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. You know, both glitches are essentially the same, right? So if one's working, both are working. Yeah. And when Phantom Zone is up, this is where we would warn you that if you're doing one, you're doing both, so be warned. You know, just if you're listening to this in between Phantom Zone, just, you know, mentally prepare yourself. Well, Remember that, it so you yeah, don't... Yeah, that's why it's good, because it's easy to get sloppy and then be really disappointed when you uh, screw up one or the other when the Phantom Zone comes back. Yeah, especially when the Phantom Zone is only up, like, a quarter of the time at most. That's right. Yeah. Uh, the Breakthrough Glitch, let you play it repeatedly, is still working. We've got uh, info in the description with a potential solution for people who are having trouble playing extra breakthroughs that we can't test because we have not had that specific issue, but that's up for you if you want it. Yep. Airplane mode slash refund glitch still working. Good for both packs with random drops, also known as loot boxes, and last laugh tickets. And it only works in cases where you do not need an internet connection, so it did not work in the Phantom Zone when it was around. There we go. Uh, the time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges. As always, return your clock back to normal before you finish. Okay. Uh, free energy with uh, having to watch the video also works. And if you are on iOS and are having trouble, we've cut and pasted an iOS user's potential solution, Dragons952. It's in the description. Again, we can't confirm or test or do whatever, but you know. Yeah, if your energy button is grayed out. Yeah. Yeah, and in between not working and working glitches, we have the promotion glitch where you can promote characters that are still locked, which hasn't had the right conditions since update 2.14, so it's still not testable, still not usable, but we're keeping it in here because technically it has not been confirmed to not work. That means we're pedants. Yeah. Because we're pedantic. And to finish up, we would like to give a huge, huge thank you to all the people who have made the decision to support us on Patreon. Right. So a big thank you to Console Peasant supporting us at the top tier last word. John Ariama supporting us at the Your Message Here tier. Sean Farrell, uh, sorry about that, Sean Farrell. Sean Farrell, Daniel Simonson, Aaron Mall, and Michael DeVries, who are supporting us on the credited level. And Eddie G and Chris Wolf at the gratitude level. This yeah. has not been a good week for not making mistakes. We've, we've run into some issues. Maybe some patrons need to reconsider. <laughs> Please don't. I mean, do, do what you need to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, thank you so much for all of your support. And thanks so much to all of you for watching. We'll see you next time. Komoda. Komoda.